Yeah, it was like a grinded type of game, all hands on deck. Uh, really happy for uh, Smitty, played really well for us. Um, <clears throat> he came in there and gave us, gave us a, a great game. Just kind of through your day a little bit because uh, Mike stood here X amount of hours yeah. ago and said, you know, it's your game time decision. And I think, I don't know if I was the only one, but I thought, boy, you know, the, it, it seems like quite a trip to come in, especially if you're not feeling well. But maybe just why you decide, hey, if I can do it, let's do it. Well, some of my former buddies are saying it's the Oiler flu because I, I lost an 85 <laughs> here in 87. Um, yeah, no, just a little bit of a, you know, it's gone through our staff a little bit. So, yeah, I got a bunch of meds. I'm fine. It's not contagious. Don't worry about it. It's, it's okay. But winning can be. Um, yeah. So right. a little yeah. bit about that and trying to finish off the division and then go from there. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, it's uh, it's a tough building to come. They don't lose very often here to come in here. You know, only uh, let them score one goal. It's a you know, it's a, it's credit to a lot of guys. I thought defensively we were good. They had their chances too. I mean, uh, you know, um, you got to respect that. But you know, like I said, Smitty was good. We had some timely goals. Um, you know, a couple games left before the season, the playoffs start. So this is a, this is a good kind of a test drive for us for uh, come, come the next uh, playoffs, you know, when the playoffs start. Winning the division. Um, I know it's not something that people are pushing themselves 10% extra hard in the summer to accomplish, but yeah. what does it mean to you and this group? Well, we haven't, this is not over yet. Right. So I, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, is there wood here? I'm going to yeah, change yeah, myself. Yeah, fair enough. That was a trap. But, uh, no, I, listen, anytime, you know, Anytime you play late in the season, meaningful games is a lot. That's not something that w this franchise wanted for a long time, and these are these are the games we need. So it's a, you know we got a big one on Tuesday. You get the Sam goal after a first period where maybe your start hadn't been right perfect, and and from there your team's just so comfortable grinding clock and, and killing the game in those situations. Of What's it a credit to? Well, the first seven, I think for seven, eight minutes, they were they had a couple of those high tip shots, and I thought Casey made a couple, so yeah, that was big for us. And then I, th I think our last five in the first kind of gave us confidence, um, and then I thought the second we were better. So, um, yeah, I, I would credit that first seven minutes, Casey. Like, there's some, some high tips they had that, you know, they go in, you know, maybe it's a different game. Does it mean anything to you that holding those leads – uh, the way your club seems to be able to sort of replicate that formula. Is, is that something that should give you confidence going into the postseason? Well, I think all year we've been kind of our mode of being able to protect leads, uh, grind it out. Um, so that's, the, you know, that's one thing that the guys hang their hat on. Um, and, you know, I, honestly, the minutes were good. I think we played all four lines. Of the defense. We didn't overuse a lot of guys. I think that's the recipe for our team. I know this is your first full season, but you had – 35 games or so last year. Um, tonight, even on a night when maybe your big guns aren't um, mm -hmm. loud in terms of their contributions, sure. you know, it's, it's Puce, it's yeah. Sam, and it's Casey, all guys who weren't here for those 35 games last season. Yeah. Well, what does that say about the connective tissue of your club? That's huge. I mean, Teddy Luger, I thought it was one of his best games. I thought Podsy was good. I mean, listen, we're going to go anywhere. We need everybody. You know, it's, it's just not going to be the big guys. It's uh, You're going to need... You know, four lines, six defense, or you know, maybe even deeper. You know, the roster. Um, so we know that's where we're, we're built, and we're going to need everybody. You had some changes up front, uh, especially that Lindholm line uh, with Garland and, yeah. and Joshua. You've seen that do a lot. Uh, they played a fair bit against Drysaitel. Looked like they had a pretty solid two way outing. What, what were your first impressions of that? <clears throat> yeah, I, I just I like the way our lines are set up. I know you know there's different options. Um, for me, it's uh, it's more depth that way. Uh, I thought Lindy was really good tonight. Um, when, when, you know, since he's been back, it really balances our lines. Um, kind of gets us a little different matches here and there. So that's a big, big plus for us getting Lindy out there. Uh, one question: I have a hat trick. Second a hat trick is hat trick. No hat trick is not a problem for me. <laughs> not focused on Everton. You guys are the worst. The worst. Third line is a huge key. Golden key. Oh, I think you have to spit all these. Generational talent. Thanks for liking the video and subscribing.